Amazon is the fastest growing internet company in history. Personally, I was into it for a while, but when my half-off prepaid Groupon coupon started stacking up in my wallet, it made me nervous, so I stopped clicking. I'm Susan Diamond, publisher of Prayables.com. My vlog today is called The Tree Looks Taller and Other Mentor-Mentee Topics. My daughter Rachel and I were at a business luncheon, and we had the chance to talk to Groupon's founder, Andrew Mason. I asked him about his mentor, Eric Lifkowski. Eric is not a high-profile guy in most circles, but in the world of venture capital and startups, he's God. I asked Andrew what advice he had for entrepreneurs who want to find a mentor like his, Eric. He thought about it for a minute and he said, you don't find a mentor. If you have something they want, they'll find you. I wonder if my friend Carrie Kaufman would agree. She was previously the Director of Mentoring at LaSalle Bank, and now she holds the title of Leadership and Organization Development Consultant for Advocate Healthcare. Mentoring is typically thought of as a more altruistic relationship. When you hear mentor, you think older and wiser person taking younger person under their wing, like Mr. Miyagi and the Karate Kid. But it occurred to me that the mother-daughter relationship is also mentoring. I counsel and advise my daughter Rachel, and I share all the benefits of my hard-earned wisdom. And she does the same for me. How would I know about Pilates, going bare-legged in heels, and hanky-pankies if it weren't for my daughter? How would Rachel learn about the joy of an immersion blender, spraying your dress with static guard, or freezing candles to prevent drips if I didn't teach her. Now Rachel will tell you I have a tendency for TMI, that's too much information. I am often guilty of taking it a notch below, literally, where it needs to be, and now is one of those times. A while back there was a video from Gillette that went viral on YouTube. It's at nearly 3 million views, so maybe you saw it. How to shave your groin. I was fascinated. Apparently, it's stylish for men to clear the underbush so the tree looks taller. Now, those are Gillette's words, not mine. But if I didn't have a daughter, how could I confirm this info? You can be sure me and my girlfriends do not know about the latest in men's groin fads. There is truth to Andrew's remarks on mentorship being a two-way street, and I bet Carrie would agree. The mentee isn't the only one who benefits from the relationship. There's as much to learn from another who hasn't been there as one who has. Looking at life through the eyes of inexperience is a learning experience in itself, especially when you're sharing the lens with your very smart, grown-up daughter. I am blessed. And now a prayer from Prayables.com called Lessons for My Child. Help me to teach my child to give her wisdom and show her how to choose good people to be in her life. Help me to teach my child to look within for her very best, that you are her strength and guidance. Help me to teach her that enemies will come, but through you she will always be victorious. Help me to teach my child the blessings in doing for others.